I'm good. I'm good. Tim, come on. I'm good. All right? I'm on gate guard. All right? You boys have fun out there. I'm on gate I'm just waiting for the sun to go down the barbecue. I've been around the woods throwing guns and stuff, okay? It was called Afghanistan. <coughs> and last time I checked, it was us Navy boys that got Ben Landon. I'll be on gate guard. Great forces around the Muslim world to learn their spirit. Oh my God. Freedom. Okay, guys, so uh, if you've ever seen fences in my videos in the background or maybe thought, hey, is that a solar energy farm? Yeah, it is. It's owned by Soltag, which I think is Australian. The guy that came out and told me he was the owner of it was definitely Australian, but they're the ones who actually own this field and uh, there's no turtles for tomorrow that's just a bogus name that i made up and the reason i made that bogus name up has a lot to do with veterans so hear this story while we train oh me <laughs> nah yeah yeah i'm a veteran if that's what you want to call it and i'm uh i'm a seaman seaman tim for short but uh yeah i was in the navy i was uh I was joining to be in the Navy SEALs. I did I make the was I no I wasn't the Navy SEAL. Why? Because when I got into the Navy, they were like, you gotta pass the swim test. And I was like, oh really? Because I think I did pass the swim test during the ASVAB. I gotta go to gate guard though. That's right, we've gone through some changes, you know, we've we've changed the name from Prepper 22 the turtles for tomorrow back to prepper 22 but we kept the uh the tag that we were non-profit or for you know for under profit or not for profit or whatever it's called for turtles for tomorrow which i said i was the managing partner of and it was uh snapping turtles that i would relocate from places like Matthews Bluff or uh, like living conditions that suck and i would put them right here in the snapping field where we would also, as a 2-4, have uh, veterans coming as a weekend retreat to play the bad guy, the Op 4, for other preppers that wanted to cap out and stuff. Today, through our training and stuff, you're going to see why it's not actually Turtles for Tomorrow. There's no such thing as Turtles for Tomorrow, and you're going to see why. But before we get into that, let's talk about the three uh, three different camos we're going to test today. Today, we're going to be testing Digi. That's right. Digi took the whole armed forces by storm. The first one was the U.S. Army when they came out with what I consider one of the coolest Digis there is, or one of the coolest camos there is, the gray uh, ACU. Army combat and it was supposed to blend in and urban defense uh, jungle warfare or desert combat and it was showing that we're gonna go anywhere and we're gonna do anything to kill terrorism and then after that you had the Marines they just took the same woodland colors from the old BDU to M81 that uh, everyone wore and they put that into digi they used the Army's ACU the Marines Woodland Digi, and then we're actually going to go full semen. <laughs> That's right. We're going to take what I think is the coolest Digi, and it's called the Avocado, and it's the, the Marine or the Navy's uh, version of uh, Green Digi. And we're going to do it in all three major terrains right here in the turtle snapping field. We're going to do it on the gray side that has rocks and fences and stuff. We're going to do it on the green side. We're going to have people moving up against the wood lines and the trees and stuff. And then we're going to do it on the uh, brown side, the light green and stuff. So let's get ready.
piece of bamboo I cut and I'm gonna simulate like it's an AT4 or an RPG or whatever. I'm just gonna run around. But oh shit, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. So, uh, yeah, smoke them if you got them. I'm gonna smoke this lost L O S S T uh, T H C today. But uh, I love I love uh, vape, by the way. Uh, I'm not about uh, breaking the law, going to find street weed and street drugs, and I'm not about synthetic uh, mood enhancers and stuff. I'm crazy, but I like this legal uh, vape. But anyway, so uh, <clears throat> and eventually I might have to stop telling people. Everyone's gonna know. But um, you know, you can check me out on some other Facebook platforms: Tony Horton, Gracie, uh, Gorilla. Hapkido, Tampa Bay, Sambo, you know, back in the day, I used to, uh, when I got out of the military, I used to compete in submission grappling, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, MMA, stuff like that, and I used to always do it to raise money and awareness for post-traumatic stress disorder and using martial arts as a way to help with that. And, you know, as time went on, I, I moved, uh, moved up here to um, Lumbertan, Robeson County, <laughs> and, you know, not much jujitsu and stuff, so I needed to find other outlets and stuff. And by finding other outlets, I started doing a lot of the camping and uh, hiking and bushcrafts and stuff like that, and I liked it. And I figured that was a good way, too. And the reason I call it Prepper 22 is because we find out... You know, through Mission 22, that 22 veterans a day commit suicide because of post-traumatic stress disorder. Just not having a healthy outlet for all that energy they got stored up. So that's, you know, that's like me teaching martial arts and stuff. And then I was like, well, you know what? Prepping, learning all these combatives, redoing it and stuff. That's a healthy outlet. So that's how I came up with Prepper 22 and then you know I needed uh, kind of an outdoor sanctuary to be able to do it you know I was building bunkers outside the the uh, National Guard Armory here and they called the cops and had me put in a loony pen for nine days that's not how I want to do it so I needed a sanctuary and I found this giant beautiful field that's surrounded by a very shallow tree line and it has nothing no one bothers it because there's a giant um <laughs> solar panel um farm right there so i was like you know what i'm gonna use it no one's gonna know no one's gonna see me i'm just gonna use this place so i started setting up i started getting pallets i started building i started making this into a you know a battleground full of bangalaboo bunkers and stuff you know you probably can't even see them if you're a civilian but they're out there and i started doing that and then i wanted to be able to invite veterans to come here and I wanted to give these veterans kind of like uh, care packages to go home in so I started calling around to t-shirt companies you know outdoor companies and stuff to give little presents and I saw this hat company this is actually true timber camo and I was like that's a really cool hat company so I hit them up and I told them the truth exactly hey I'm a veteran I'm trying to help veterans with PTSD you know this is what prepper 22 is blah 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 and stuff can you send me you know just five hats and I'll wear them every video and I'll give them out one hat every every you know camping trip and they blew me off they were like oh thanks for your service we'll think about it and they never came back so they blew me off and when I went back to their website to look, I was like, you know, what do I have to do? I saw that they had a company called Turkeys for Tomorrow that they were helping out. And I was like, these motherfuckers are helping out Turkeys for Tomorrow instead of helping out preppers and stuff. So I decided, you know what, maybe I can get more help. Sadly, if I tell people it's for animals instead of for uh, veterans. So I, I tested it, I drove to this place to get pallets, and I went the first day with an all army hat on. And I said, hey, can I get some pallets to, to build a, you know, a weekend retreat uh, for veterans? He's like, ah, we don't help veterans, thanks for your service, but we can't. And I said, okay, no problem. Then I went home, and I got one of these hats, true camo, true timber camo hats on, and I put it on, and I said, turtles for tomorrow. And I went back, same guy, I shaved, same guy had on, I said, hi, I'm Tim, I'm the owner of Turtles for Tomorrow. Can I just have a couple of uh, pallets, I wanna put them out there and just have the snapping turtles chew on them. He was like, hell yeah, you can have as many as you want, get you what you want, take them all. And that's how I got all these pallets for the bunkers, by line. 
I'm doing a nice thing. I'm doing a great thing out here. I'm trying to build a battleground that preppers and readiness guys can come out here for a three day, two night camping trip, survivalist retreat and learn their stuff and be tested because on the other side of the field, on my side that I'm at now, are veterans that are just camping out here playing the bad guys. That's an awesome fucking thing to do, but no one would help me. I couldn't get sponsors to help with hats. I couldn't even get people to give me fucking pallets. But then when I fucking came back around and I said I'm doing it for turtles for tomorrow, everybody was all over, all on my shit helping. The fuck is wrong with them? So I spent the next about two weeks, two and a half weeks, just driving back and forth every single morning, getting freaking pallets, chopping down bamboo trees, uh, finding bricks and stuff, and just telling people, hey, it's for turtles for tomorrow. I'm making, I got a field, and I'm, I'm, I'm relocating snapping turtles, and I need these, these cinder blocks. Take them. You know, I, hey, I need to take them. People that would just fucking laugh at me and spit on me if I said it was for veterans, turn back around and say, oh, it's for fucking turtles for tomorrow? Take it. You know, your hat, you look, you look legit. Take it. <clears throat> and I had my whole thing set up, and I've been filming these videos here, and I've been talking to preppers from other states, you know, Patriots Art uh, contacted me. They wanted to come do something. Uh, some other people, whatever. And, um... A couple of days ago, sure enough, the actual owner of Saldigate or whatever, the Australian guy, fucking pulled up at the solar panels. And I was out here. I was like, oh, shit. And I was fucking hunkered down, kind of like that motherfucker. Get down.
kind of waited out. I was hiding in low. But, I mean, he wasn't having that. He was taking pictures and walking around. The next thing I know, I'm thinking Sheriff Wilkinson's coming to get me. <coughs> so I come out. You know, I present myself. Hey, I'm Tim Harrow. <coughs> and I don't even want to lie about the turtles for tomorrow. So I'm like, hey, I'm Tim Harrow. I'm a U.S. Army combat veteran. Uh, I'm just building an outdoor weekend retreat for veterans and outdoor enthusiasts alike to kind of battle each other and give them a healthy outlet. Sorry. And he says, all he says in a weird Australian accent, he says, you're a veteran. Thank you. Tim, you can do anything, <coughs> anything, he was in coffin though, anything you want in this field. Just keep an eye on my million dollar solar panels. Be the advisor of Soulgate Security. Ass. So, I mean, to wrap it up, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Prepper 22, I lied, okay? There's no snapping turtles. I had one snapping turtle out here and that motherfucker ran away the same fucking day. It's fascinating you think. But I have no snapping turtles. I wasn't asking GoFundMe or I wasn't asking anyone for anything. I was literally just trying to get some bunkers, drive up and get some cinder blocks and get some people to send me some gifts to give as care packages for veterans when they come. But no one wanted to help me, so I had to die hard. Do it yourself. And now I'm legit. I am <clears throat> going to still keep the Turtles for Tomorrow uh, label. This is actually True Timber Camo, who totally didn't support me. But fuck them, I paid for this hat. So now it's the Turtles for Tomorrow hat. And no one helped me. The only person who helped me is Soulgate. Thank you, Soulgate. So I mess names up. I mess names up. I mess everyone's names up. I mess my own kids' names up. Everyone knows that. Uh, I can blame it on PTSD now. I hope. But uh, I'm not going to mess Soulgate's name up. The real company's name is Soul Tag Hold Co. Thank you, guys. And since you're an Australian company, to be honorable to you guys, because we're going to have a long-lasting relationship. You gave me this big, giant field to help other veterans out and shit. I know you guys celebrate Christmas in July. So this December, when Christmas comes up, I'm not going to buy you a present. Uh, one of the rules here is there's no loaded weapons. Only me with my sidearm. Is the only loaded weapon right here in the snapping field. Bring your weapons. Bring your ammo. We're going to lock your ammo up. You're going to, just like in the field, in the military, you're going to walk around getting used to carrying that weight and stuff. And you're going to have 
your weapons, but we're going to do every 45 minutes or randomly brass and ammo checks just to make sure that no one slipped up and put a loaded magazine in their weapon. And that goes for uh, any law enforcement too. Uh, Sheriff Wilkerson or any of your little ropes and county boys want to come into uh, the soul tag snapping fields and see what's going on. Mm, you can't come because if your boys come out here trying to shoot guns and shoot one of these million dollar solar energy panels, you're going to be in trouble. So I'm going to find Rob Davis, the same personal lawyer that Sheriff Wilkerson used to give me a cease and desist from talking to him. And I'm going to serve him and the Robinson County uh, Sheriff's Department and let them know, hey, look, the ass doesn't want you anymore. So what you guys see here is a giant multi-million dollar complex behind me owned by Soul Tag. It's a solar energy, solar panel farm. And I am the ass of Soul Tag. That's right. I talked to the owner the other day and I kind of told him what was going on with my whole story of turtles for tomorrow and the prepping field and everything. And he said, how about you be the, uh, the um, advisor of Soul Tag security? And I said, you know what? I will be your ass. on having fun. I don't get to come out in the woods and just barbecue a lot here. Yeah, so I just, somebody's got to start the grill. Okay, guys. Uh, so once again, thanks for watching one of my Prepper 22 videos. And if you learn nothing else from this video, just remember, Sheriff Bernie Wilkins, you're not allowed to come on Soulgate property. You've been warned, boy.